Hey Nick and Nathan, Sam here. Today we're going to be tying the 7-Eleven. I'd like to read to you what the 7-Eleven means, but we'll have to do that later. Um, we're going to start with a, we're going to tie these in 18s and 20s for now. Um, with, I have brown Vivas 14 aught thread and the smallest gold bead that you can get. I don't remember what size that is. Shoot. Anyways, the smallest one. And um, we're gonna have, we're gonna do this with copper bead as well as a gold bead. Um, so this is a, probably the, maybe the fastest fly that we do in all fly project patterns. So it's just a thread body and you're going to wrap that thread body almost all the way to the head. Then we are going to take some UV um, brown ice dub, which is like the fishiest color of ice dub that exists. Um, you need very little ice dub, like not this much actually, way less than that. Um, and you're going to make a small um, head behind the gold bead, like that. And then we're gonna do some gray um, laser dub. And we're just gonna use a tiny bit because you don't want too much to show up. This stuff has a really cool, like the blue um, uh, UV looking stuff in it. So you're just gonna make a really thin wing like this and tie it in at the very top right behind the bead. Oh my gosh, under pressure, under pressure. Okay. So then you just make that so it's going off both sides. Um, you don't even have to do that exaggerated when you're tying these on your, cell, on your own. Um, and then right behind the head is where you're going to tie it off. And you clip the wing almost down, like so there's just barely a nub sitting there. And you can see the second you clip it, it splits into like a little micro wing. And if you can find your whip finisher, we have plenty of space to do a good whip finish, especially with the nice small 14 knot thread. So do four turn whip finish right behind the gold bead. And that's the 7-Eleven Amigos. So I'm pretty sure when you get good, you should be able to tie this in like, I mean, definitely under a minute. So um, there's like no gluing, no cutting, no hardly anything to do here. Just two different dubbings. And just so you guys know, I take one of these Plano boxes and just have my dubbing sticking out like this so that you guys, so that you can have quick access to it when you're tying flies like this. It just makes it go really, really fast. So we, I know we have those little, now they make dubbing boxes with holes in them, but they didn't used to. That's it.